A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this collective reading. If you are here right now, then my dear friends, it's not a coincidence. Via your intuition, you call yourself to this content and you are using me simply as a tool, as a medium to go through something that you yourself are a vibrational match to. You may or may not resonate fully. In case you have questions, you can get a personal session or get into therapy with me. An intuitive plus tarot reading would be really good for those questions. All information is mentioned in the description box. Now the intention of this particular message is to create a space or a portal that can lead to epiphanies which then leads to a pathway to a quantum leap. However, my dear friends, never forget, all of you beautiful souls, that in the world of inner work, we all take responsibility of our own well-being and also our lives and our actions. Thus, it's our duty to do inner work and surrender to Source. So, let's get started and find out what Source wants us to know. In this channeling session, you must have seen the thumbnail already. Uh, this is a very important channeling session because it talks about identity theft. Now, a lot of people know about identity theft uh, being done in the physical reality, but uh, not many people know about this in the spiritual world. So, obviously, it is a metaphorical concept or you can say it is a symbolic concept or it is a spiritual concept because a lot of people... First of all, since you are drawn to this channeling session, let me, you know, clarify this before we go any further. You are drawn to this channeling, you resonate with this, which means you actually have an idea about it. That's why you are so drawn to this channeling. A normal person walking on the street who is not doing inner work, who has no, uh, you know, connection with the twin flame world or the star seed world or anything of this nature will not even get drawn to it. Okay. So... That's why I'm saying even though it is a metaphorical concept or a metaphysical concept, but it is happening in a big way and it happens to a lot of people. And then it is also very important to know that a lot of people win over because my channeling is all about that. Right now, the message I got was that where I was told that this is a spiritual identity theft. This channeling is about a spiritual identity theft, which means that someone actually distorted or stole away your authentic spiritual essence or identity and copied it or took it away and acted as if it belongs to them and then started living their life based on it or started doing a lot of things based on it and one of those things is also stealing away the person you love now we all know by now that masculine and feminine these are energies and when they are in polarized form they can be in a man and they can be in a woman also so it could be very much possible right now that uh, some of the men who are listening to this channeling would also feel this way you know and i checked the analytics of my channel i actually saw that we have 49 percent male and 50 uh, one percent female so the the ratio or the population of men versus uh, women is pretty much the same just a two percent difference you know that's actually quite a great thing even in my live sessions i have noticed it and i'm gonna tell you this thing today a lot of men actually confuse this because they have so much feminine energy but because so many people around them have been making them feel that having feminine energy or nurturing energy is something wrong uh, it's not the right thing to happen to them they also sometimes deny it okay and because they deny it they suffer because of it and many a times they also end up attracting a woman who has masculine energy okay In my sessions, when I do sessions with people, especially the Twin Flame Astrology session, that is the one where we check about what energy people have. So, so many women took sessions from me and they had masculine yoni and so many men took sessions from me and they had feminine yoni. 
and sometimes i even try to kind of cross check throughout my life i have been doing these things because guys there is no actual school for uh, twin flame or metaphysical concepts or you know healing uh, the romantic uh, illusions and delusions and then moving into unconditional love so we have to self study and also because the psychic abilities or the gifts they actually lead us to the right information and eventually with the help of inner work the grace of masters the grace of uh, source i would say the grace of whole ram darbar we are able to do this and i'm able to share this information with all of you wonderful lovely souls out there who might also be feeling a loss of authenticity because spiritual identity theft involves a sense of losing touch with one's genuine spiritual essence or true nature and it may occur when external influences societal conditioning or personal traumas they cause individuals to disconnect from their inherent spirituality and adopt certain beliefs and behaviors or roles that are that are not really in sync or in line with their authentic selves and mostly it happens via the karmic okay and i have said this in one more channeling see because i have so many channelings here so much content is there sometimes i don't know where i said what but i obviously remember saying it in one of the channelings i had said it that it's the karmic who actually stalks the divine feminine a lot especially when a person is in polarized divine feminine energies the karmic intensely stalks that person because they're interested in this person they also think that if i take away this person's man or woman okay obviously your love life or your lover at that point in time is 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 a great or a big part of your life so your confidence is connected to it if the person you have been dating or seeing or liking or you have a very intense connection with is uh very close to you you might have been into some kind of engagement or you might be in some kind of relationship uh, you might be actually involved with that person in a big way if that person suddenly chooses to go away to someone and the reason is pure materialist materialistic reason or materialism or in many cases it looks from outside like there is a materialistic reason but actually the karmic also copies or fakes their personality to appear like a giver or a spiritual person who is very healed and they give this assurance to the masculine or they listen in very keenly because they want that person they very strongly want that person and i tell you not because they want this person's focus because they want the person of the feminine because feminine has that intuitive emotional energy they their focus is very strong and they get instant focus as soon as they do this why do you think a lot of these karmic women and men they steal away other people's partners because it gives them a kick it gives them a big high you know they feel like wow you know i got this person now i'm so amazing their motivation of seducing your person is not obviously spiritual uh in the sense not in a good way they are they are doing it it's a psychological disorder because sometimes they feel like that by creating this type of a threat or by creating this type of a competition they are able to assert their own dominance or superiority so if you feel insecure because of a certain person or if you feel inadequate in some ways you are actually seeing another person as a stronger individual or a more charming person then your focus is constantly like energetically you're thinking about that person as a strong individual charming personality successful personality this that the other person is automatically getting that energy so some of the people they do it purposely because maybe they have done it in the past also you know and when they saw you maybe they saw you not directly they saw you via your person maybe they met your person and your person told them that yeah i'm dating someone or i like someone or i'm in a complicated relationship with someone i'm with such and such person maybe they spoke about you without realizing that the karmic was extremely keen and attentive maybe they spoke about your name about your profession about your work they made their notes they looked up you know on social media in some cases they may be physically also stalked you wherever it was possible and they made their notes 
they made their points like these are the things I should be doing or these are the traits that I should embody, these are the things that I should speak about. And they also knew some of the wonderful things that you were doing or you have done which they could never do. Like maybe you have written a book or maybe you've written uh, some nice songs or maybe you have a band or maybe you're a good musician, maybe you take care of animals or maybe you are just a really good designer, you know, something, something very good about you which the masculine speaks about and speaks about like in such a way that, you know, this is a great quality about my person and I don't think so I can ever get someone like that. So they already know, they have created this uh, in their head that, you know, you are better than them. Now, by using it, the information or rather I would say misusing it, they create a personality, another identity, which they focus on. This is what a lot of karmics do. See, karmic is an energy, okay? Uh, before I explain this point, the one that I was, was explaining, let me also explain to you that karmic entanglement, that's why we use the word entanglement, because karmic is an energy, and some people possess it a lot, because the karmic energy comes from ego, or the 3D world, so some people have a very big ego, and they meet someone, when they meet someone, they look at that person as a challenge, and they try to embody that person's traits, so many a times they cannot do that, because karmics also function on on illusions because the base and the foundations of ego is illusions so they will also try obviously they cannot do what you're doing if you are say a very good uh, musician you play very good guitar they cannot learn how to play guitar in two days or they cannot start singing uh, you know like you in two days or three days obviously they cannot so what are they gonna do they're gonna create a fake uh, persona wherein maybe they have a lot of interest in music or they're going to talk a lot about music, they're going to, you know, just mug some artist name, or maybe they're going to act like, you know, they don't like music at all, they're not into music, but they have some other hobby, you know, uh, it's just all pretense and drama, or they will focus again and again on you and your quality as if it's not a big deal, you know, mentally. So they will think about something that they have. Maybe you're a musician, for example, these are all examples, okay, guys, in case you resonate with these examples, great. But these examples are coming to my mind right now. So for example, let's change it. Let's say you have a uh, very beautiful uh, talent of making lovely dresses, lovely clothes, but you have not shared it with the world as such, or even if you have, you don't carry like the knowledge you can say or the not knowledge of, of you have knowledge but you know that you're a humble person that's what i want to say you don't carry the air or the attitude about it but maybe your person really likes that quality and he speaks he or she speaks a lot about it in front of the karmic now the karmic person realizes that this is what the masculine likes okay they like the fact that you are a beautiful designer or you're a beautiful person but they also realize that you've not brought out this quality for the world maybe it's only for the masculine or maybe uh, it's it's for limited number of people or it is something that you you maybe don't even know as such like you're not aware about it i think awareness is the word that i've, I've been looking for like you don't carry that strong awareness in you that you know what i'm a good designer or i'm a good musician i can play great guitar i mean for you playing the guitar is very normal it's not a big deal you know you just play guitar and you just sing songs and you've been doing it since childhood maybe you've always been a singer so you just do it but it's it's something that you've not really spilled out or shared in the world in a big way but your masculine person really likes those qualities so they've been talking about it again and again so mentally they would think that you know you don't care about it so spiritual identity theft is also called stealing someone's jewels which is also connected to solar plexus so they are going to bring out something materialistic and they obviously know that if you have not been able to share those gifts with other people then it has to be a materialistic reason or a confidence issue then they would investigate into your person like what is it that your person needs maybe your person also needs money because you both are in the similar energies now some people have told me that okay i don't have that much money but my masculine comes from a very well-to-do family and you know from a very fancy family 
yeah but your masculine does not have their own money the money again this is an example the all the fancy stuff you see the cars uh, you know the watches or the memberships and this and that it's not their own hard earned money why do you think they are a slave to them why do you think they have to take their permission for everything that's because it's not their own they still don't have the guts or the caliber to go out individually and do their own stuff every time they try to do their own stuff you know they realize that all of these amazing things would be taken away from me maybe they spoke about you also to your family and in some cases yes people have told me that there have been engagement situations some cases even marriages have happened but it all did not work out simply because the feminine was not that well to do and it would not have been a problem if the masculine also had that energy or the guts to say that hey you know what i'm going to make my own money and we're going to live by ourselves like on our own terms we don't need these people obviously masculine could not do that because the masculine energy is also at that time distorted that is why you met each other that is why you had to do all the shadow work and that's why you had to you know look at each, each other as a mirror in some cases i mean there are healings and there are therapies for this also but this particular situation of identity spiritual identity theft is given to you so that you can think about it today and you can heal it and you can fix it okay we need to understand that the karmics have their own desires and uh, specifically they are trying to get something out of your relationship and that is another point is that for example you are a you are a amazing guitarist an amazing guitarist okay again uh just an example okay don't take it like this is the this is the only thing that i'm channeling about uh and when such a beautiful girl or say a beautiful man who is so talented who is so gifted who is such a beautiful player and so humble so humble they are not promoting themselves they are not pu putting out all the stuff if i take away this person i would be so much better than them you know without having any talents or skills or even humanitarian values because stealing other people seducing other people's partner is not you know a good thing to do despite knowing about it you know a good person a genuine person would not do that if they know about it you know knowingly they will not do it that's why so many feminines divine feminines the polarized versions when their masculine returns and if they are involved with someone so many of them cannot accept them back because they are more ethical sometimes they accept them back and there's a big guilt factor and then they are like no 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 don't come back to me you be with your wife or you be with your girlfriend because i cannot do what she did to me or i cannot do what you're doing to me i cannot uh, you know take this step or take this action so they are not happy you know many a times and those who actually end up doing it because of love end up accepting that person despite their disloyalty they don't feel very happy about it so eventually it stops working it stops um, you know not being the same way but the karmic doesn't think like that for the karmic everything is fair and i don't like this statement you know everything is fair in love and war i don't like this statement neither war is good neither torturing other people in the name of love is good just because you love someone for example someone falls in love with someone someone's man or someone's woman how is it fair to do whatever you want it's not fair right but we have these statements floating around all the time also karmic sometimes also means an energy okay now this is a point that i want to make over here that karmic is also an energy and it's in the context of relationships when we look at it it often involves unresolved issues lessons or patterns from past lives or even the current life now these energies can manifest into various ways including conflicts in a relationship separation phases between individuals and the presence of someone who carries or embodies these energies like a person is in front of you so you are focusing on that person you are thinking that this person has taken away my partner this is another possibility you know and you're also not doing your inner work and healing they've obviously focused on you and done whatever they had to do but sometimes people who are in spiritual ascension they also focus too much on that person and a lot of time goes away in thinking about them and giving them your precious energy 
That's why we have a therapy called 3D release or karmic release. You guys can check out about it in the description box. It has three sessions. It's a very popular therapy. It at least takes your focus away from the karmics. And then you can do whatever other things you want to do. But after those three sessions, you would not be so attached with the karmic energy. And I'm not saying guys and girls, please remember this, that everything will fix in one day. That's why we have multiple therapies also, because problems are many, you know, in the spiritual ascension, there is a problem of 3D, uh, you know, people coming into your life or karmics coming into your life. There is a problem of unable to transmutate anger into love. Then there's a problem. The biggest problem is of narcissistic abuse, where people are raised in such a wrong way, such horrible programming is given to them that they're never able to attract true love in their life. And then we have the chakra alignment also, because people are out of alignment from their chakra, especially uh, solar plexus and navel chakra. So they are not able to feel at ease. They are not in the present situation. They're always in the past or in the future. So the ultimate goal of this channeling is also to bring greater aware awareness, understanding and transformation to you. Whosoever is involved in this, whosoever is listening to this, whosoever resonates with this, it is for you to understand that you can get out of the karmic energy or you can get out of the karmic person stealing your personality traits your identity, your spirituality, your goals, values, and acting like it's theirs. A person who goes through spiritual identity theft feels very disempowered and imbalanced. It can lead to a sense of uh, disconnection from their inner wisdom, their own intuition and personal power. And that's why many people go through dark night of the soul phase. It creates a void. It leaves the person feeling very lost, un fulfilled because maybe they, they feel very betrayed at that time they feel very discarded they feel like uh, you know their authenticity led them to this if they were not so authentic or if they were not so nice or not so loving today they would be happy if they were also like the karmic things would have been different things would have been fine or maybe like when the opportunity comes when the person comes back they cannot do what the karmic has done despite knowing that the karmic did wrong to them some of the people who are in the ascension journey i actually tell them that you are already in union energies your masculine and feminine are merging if your person has contacted you if they want to get back to you whether you go back to them or not it's your own decision in life it's your own decision whether you want to patch up with them or date them or marry them or whatever. But if they come back looking for you, if they contact you, if they tell you that they love you, they still love you, they want to be with you, they are willing to leave their person or they are willing to leave their life for you or whatever 50% offer they make based on their comfort and convenience and you deny also you are already in union energies. This is something that I have been telling a lot of people but they don't believe it. They feel very sad about it because maybe still some of their jewels are stolen. And that's why I tell you guys to work with me to do hand holding so that we can work on certain uh, problems that are connected to your solar plexus chakra. This solar plexus chakra is the very reason why people have confidence or not have confidence. And confidence is the thing, my dear friends, that rules the world. And karmic feels very weak in front of a confident divine feminine. Karmic feels like they are standing on a ground where there is earthquake. Like their whole world is going to shatter when such a strong personality comes in front of them. Okay. So you you are in the process of reclaiming your authenticity, which involves rediscovering, embracing and aligning with your own true essence, not feeling bad about who you are. Rather, if someone goes away from you thinking that it's their loss. If someone is disrespecting you, it's their loss. Like you did everything. This is not about ego. You did everything for that person. Then why feel bad? You gave your 100% to give yourself fully. When you love someone, it's not easy. It's not a joke. How many people do that? Okay, so you did that. And now you've also realized that there's no point doing all this. God is your most important person. Source is your lover, your truest lover. You know, and the most purest form of lover is the one 
who stands by you forever no matter what so when you realize that when you integrate with the source automatically people start coming back to you why because you started restoring and reclaiming your own authentic energy your own spiritual signature so this channeling is also telling me that those people who were a uh, victim of this problem they are in the process of reclaiming and integrating all aspects of their self and embodying their own authentic spirituality now this involves cultivating self acceptance self love personal empowerment and most importantly you know when you start doing what you love even though you don't have certain things like somebody walks away from your life but you still love yourself somebody takes away something from you but you still love yourself and when you learn to do this god gives you back many folds of what you had lost not just in terms of relationship you actually get everything you get back your money you get back the love you had with a loved one like even in case of life and death situation a lot of people feel very separated from the one they love okay and maybe it's a person maybe it's a pet maybe it's someone and they feel very separated and they're very angry towards god or towards someone i mean certain things are not in our control that's why it's called planet earth right so after you start healing you start reconnecting with that energy of maybe the lover of maybe the pet or maybe the family person you lost maybe a teacher you lost you actually start feeling them around you you actually see them smiling in front of you i've had visions of so many people uh, you know who i lost i've even had interactions conversations like people have one on one conversations with the people in physical reality i've had one on one conversations with those who have crossed over i've heard their voices i've you know gone through so many things so many mystical experiences and i've obviously reached a point where i am not scared to talk about it there was a time when even i was like if i'm going to talk about it people are going to make fun of me people are going to say what is she talking about but with inner work and with the grace of masters i have realized that there is no fear in speaking the truth because this is the truth all those people who mock you all those people who make fun of your spirituality ask them one question are you going to live forever just ask them this question are you going to live forever do you have some potion or do you have some drink that can turn you immortal are you never going to die just ask them this question and they will know that you are actually an authentic spiritual person ask them can you bring back yesterday i once met a very wealthy person who was doing complete show off and telling me what all they can buy what all they can get with the money they have and how money makes them very happy and then we have all these reels on uh, instagram and tiktok thank god tiktok is banned in india but we have all these uh, with all due respect to authentic content creators and authentic genuine people because some of the stuff authentic people share is amazing thank god for those people because they are the ones who actually keep the balance going but there are so many people who just post just about anything and there's one reel where you know which was very popular where people are saying uh you know what money makes me happy money who says money cannot buy happiness well in that case you have not met me or you don't know me something like that you know so i was thinking that why are they making these videos these are literally senseless videos you know and sometimes karmic energy thrives on this i mean it is intelligent you cannot live with beggars or you cannot be in a very bad condition if your partner tells you let's live on the street let's live like a homeless you know person that is exaggeration you know that is like oh my god this person is asking you to do something extremely stupid as as per whatever you need to do to survive you need to have roof above your head you need to have shelter you need to have food you need to have basic things if your partner is able to provide you that or if your partner comes from humble belongings that should be okay but karmic energy does not allow that karmic energy is about wealth about money about this that so somebody was once showing off their wealth to me and i asked that person that can you buy with all of your money can you buy the day that's gone yesterday can you buy yesterday can you bring back yesterday with all of your money i mean you're so rich you can buy a jet plane and that person was completely blank because a lot of these extremely wealthy fancy people 
they they thrive on these type of things that i can buy this i can buy that i can do this i can do that but they cannot bring back yesterday they cannot bring back their childhood they cannot bring back their youth they cannot bring back so many things they cannot use money to do anything so money is simply a resource it's a requirement many of the times the divine feminine also feels the polarized version the emotional version the nurturing version also feels very bad that they don't have so much as much as the karmic has maybe it's also a hot body maybe it is something maybe a nose it has to be something materialistic which the karmic thrives on now it's not literally a crime so you cannot go to the police and complain that yeah the karmic stole your identity but the person you can talk to the people you can talk to are your spirit guides you can talk to source about it you can talk to your masters about it because if you understand it that yes you feel like something has happened to your identity you can talk about it to them because no one on the planet can actually help you with these things only the higher masters only surrender and true love to the higher masters can tell you that i mean tell you the answer to that and then you'll also realize that this too is an illusion technically no one can steal your identity but this is the maya this is the very strong maya of karmic of the ego if you're a true person or if you walk on the path of truth if you also stop getting scared or fearful because see fear is also believing the false so a truthful person does not believe the falsehood that the fear is projecting on you okay so if you are walking on the path of truth and love then you will soon realize that it's it's possible to rediscover and reclaim your own authentic spiritual identity and uh, it may not look like an actual theft but it is very much a theft so in this channeling session the divine feminine is either on the path of reclaiming their energy which was stolen by the karmic taking back your stolen energy from uh, energy and identity from the karmic or you have already done it you've already done it either you're walking on the path or you've already done it for personal situations for readings and for uh, hand holding sessions for therapies you can write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com after going through the description box if you're from india or indian subcontinent then you have to message me or sorry mail me not message me actually it's the same thing you can email me you can send me a message on the email and ask me about my paytm or gpay details but if you are from the western world then you can use the paypal link to book the session but please please let me know about it please email me that you've booked the session number 1 and number 2 wherever you're from kindly do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me and be 100% sure when you want to do the session if you're not ready for inner work or therapy or for anything then please do not even attempt to book it please understand energetic work whenever you pay someone not just me as soon as you pay someone the energy exchange happens immediately so be very careful be very careful energy exchange happens immediately so if you have done something wrong that will reflect on you if you have been having some wrong notions and thoughts if they have done something wrong the spiritual teacher you know if they are spending their money on not doing mission work or generating resources for people who need it because most actual spiritual healers and spiritualists do that their daily daily life depends on it because the masters have given them this kind of a job that whatever they earn most maximum percentage of it goes into living a spiritual and mission oriented lifestyle so you have to be very careful to whom server you go to and there are no refunds in this because as soon as you pay the fee my energy will be gone to you and your energy will come to me that's also how i find out answers via intuition because of the exchange because of the resource exchange or the monetary exchange so i will see you soon in another one and also the reason why i'm saying this when people are not ready to do inner work i fall sick they don't know it but i fall sick over here so i don't want to fall sick i don't want to fall sick because of people who are not ready to do inner work i will see you soon in another one one love peace out and jai shri ram